Growing up, I've always drank milk. Coming from a family where everyone else was lactose intolerant, I was usually the only one who would pour myself a glass every now and then. Of course, my relationship with milk wasn't always so smooth. When you start pouring your own cup at 4 years old, you sometimes forget that you're not strong enough to lift a full gallon by yourself, which results in you dropping it on the floor while your dad just stares at you in what could be described as incredulous disbelief and disappointment. Anyway. But every relationship has its ups and downs. With every negative, there's a positive. Thanks to milk, I Pavlovian response to my taste buds and now plain almond milk to me tastes like cardboard. Thanks to milk, I've become pretty tall for a Filipino. Five foot nine. Thanks to milk, I've learned to deceive people by not opening my mouth during car rides ever since that one incident in 2014 when everybody except you talks about how much they hate drinking milk by itself so when they finally ask you, you just say haha, yeah. And even still, tastes change. My preferences for milk itself has moved around these past 21 years. From whole milk, to 2%, then down to 1%. With each downsize, the milk gradually started to taste skimmier, which is probably due to the reduced fat, and so did my tolerance. I can't drink it with nothing in my stomach in the morning without getting sick. It's actually pretty awful. But regardless, that never changed the fact that it was the same milk that felt like a friend I would not only bicker and argue with, but also laugh alongside to. I don't drink the milk here at Roanoke College. The one at Sutton Commons upsets my stomach. But regardless of where it comes from, it can still remind me of when I was a kid, and to when I felt that I had more freedom to myself. And that's probably one of the many reasons why I'll still have a glass every once in a while. But what I admire the most about milk is that just like water, you can go with any drink. <laughs>